Holy smokes, welcome back to Trailer Park Garage. Uh, this week, man, we did it all. It, it's been crazy. So, uh, worked on Cash's car. This has actually been over the past couple of weeks. Yeah. And I haven't posted anything, and everybody's probably like, hey, where you at? I've had some people text me, call. Uh, Facebook page is blowing up. But, we're all good. We've just been, I, I don't know, uh, unmotivated. It's cold out here in the shop. We went down to Shreveport, we did a little bit of street racing, made top 10 list. I'm gonna edit that video too, and uh, hopefully get it out next week. Yeah, and see what we can do there. But on this week, it's a cluster of all kinds of things. I don't even remember what all's in here, but hope you guys enjoy, and uh, yeah, come on. That's over here. What's going on? Oh man, I don't know if I can get through here. Pretty small. Made it. Yeah, you wanna see the stop block and all that stuff? Oh, getting ready to tell on him. Yeah, junkyard motor. Oh man. Take the boat headed. Look at that. Cha-ching. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I don't know where you got the rest of this stuff at. Oh, man. So we're gonna put that motor in the OG milk truck, right? <laughs> yeah. Your... Troy'd let it happen. Probably not. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. All right, so tell them what we're doing, Caps. Burn this down. Well, I don't know if we're gonna burn it down, but we got to uh, pull the transmission back out. So something was wrong. We didn't know if it was motor. We didn't know if it was transmission. And I was like 99.999% sure it's not a freak show converter problem because Michael don't play like that. It's I guess right. I have to say Michael knows his stuff. Yes. So I pulled the transmission out. I put a great little TCI that this thing should have been able to go on the brake and made moon boost. But uh, unfortunately, I put the little TCI converter in it and it made less boost than it did with Michael's converter. So yeah. We, we've did a compression check on the engine and we did cylinder temperature check, did a boost leak check, turbo in shaft play, perfect. Uh, so we narrowed it down and it's probably got a slip state or two in the transmission, so. Yeah, so we're gonna get the transmission out, take it to Goaties, and that's about it. Hopefully, are we taking it to Goaties? You think we got time to take it to Freak Show? Maybe we'll figure that out when it's out. Yeah, all right, we're going to get this thing out and talk about it. All right, so we didn't film anything because we just started rocking and rolling. But uh, Caps has got the deal pretty much figured out. How long was it? 22 minutes. 22 minutes? Ripped out? Oh man, that's uh, that takes some experience, doesn't it? LS problems. <laughs> yeah. Had to take a quick Taco John break. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, I had to get the camera out for Troy. Troy. What you do with that camera? This filming shit. You know it steals your soul, don't you? Oh my god. They have to have their daily do or daily dose of Troy. Oh yeah, Troy don't exist. Zuckerberg, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, everybody go follow <laughs> Squid Billy on Facebook now. <laughs> yes. Two words, Squid Billy. Yes. Squid first name. That's it. With an I-E, not a Y. Oh my god. Zuckerberg uh, deleted me from the planet. 
All the way from the planet? Yeah, I think he's like after me. He's been chasing me around all day. Really? Maybe he just wants to ride in your hot rod. So many fucking ride. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. All right, so today, we ain't working on no damn race cars. My salter's broke. Damn wiring's all messed up in it. So, we're not gonna be riding in the, the OG today. I'm gonna have to go sling some salt by hand. It kinda sucks, but sometimes it's uh, what you gotta do. Come on. All right, so we're gonna throw this shit out on the ground and see what we can get accomplished today. Okay, so the milk unit here has been setting for a significant amount of time. Yeah, a little bit. So, what we're gonna do is mess with it because we need to bad. And whole milk is at a standstill, really, until I go get another cab. Uh, we got some body work and shit to do. It's just freezing every day. I mean, it's freezing. And we don't have a lot of space to shop, so we're going to get these 28s off of here and roll dad truck around with them and get rid of those other 28s. Put some street tires on here because when we put it back together, it's probably going to be my daily or a daily. And yeah, so let's get these wheels and tires off of this piece of junk. All right, so. I thought we would uh, bring up some crucial moments of OG milk truck history just because I feel like it. So back in the day uh, when we were street racing this thing a lot and we were just having a blast with it and sometimes we'd roll around with it on hard tires and you know play around on the street and stuff with hard tires. So our dilemma was always traction, you know what I mean? But this truck always worked pretty well, but it wasn't like what it could have been. I think there was a bunch of kids that could have been a And that's just one thing that I didn't want to do to this truck, and I still won't. But I went to jack it up, and I couldn't get to the rear end. I'm like, shit, I always forgot how low this thing sat in the back. And I got the fuel cell under the bed. Here, look at it. So I got the fuel cell where the, uh, oh, come on, <laughs> but I used to, but uh, where the spare tire used to go. So we would never be able to fit a jack in another thing. Low profile jack didn't matter. The shit just wouldn't clear the damn fuel cell because it hangs down in the back. So we put this bar on it to add a bunch of weight and you're not going to be able to see it. Maybe one day we put it up on the lift or something. But, 115 pounds dad brought home a bunch of steel and like some hollow pipe and all kinds of shit we just fill it full of lead and of course the tire store so that was to jack the truck up and to put a bunch of weight under that i don't know why i thought that was cool but i just remembered it so i'm gonna continue freeze my ass off to get the wheels and tires off we got the wheels and tires off of the steed it has been a very long ass time since we've had this thing. Well, it hasn't been a long time since we had it running. It's been like eight months or something, six months. That's a long ass time to me. It feels like forever. It's been sitting here forever. But uh, I don't know. I think we're getting ready to freshen up the milk truck. I don't know what we're going to do, but we need to do something because it's just sitting out here and I'm getting ready to move. And I'd like to have a hot rod to cruise around while I move to Shreveport. So, we're going to get out of the cold for now, maybe get whole milk somewhere else so that we can work on this thing indoors, or maybe get this thing somewhere else so we can work on it. I don't know, but we need to figure something out soon, and y'all need to hold me to it because sometimes I get all distracted with other projects, but right now it's too damn cold to do anything, wind's like insane but anyways all right come on oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah check it out damn 
fresh from freak show that's what i'm talking and look at this you know how we had all them major problems look at that oh focus in please focus in brand new brand new brand new brand new oh man that's what i'm talking about i had to sit it there for something where's these cools at mom was talking about some damn cools i think this is this box oh yeah man let me get you some of that wham look at that wow cool on plug i don't know what i want to do with all this electronics where should we mount them should put them up here on the hell no we'll have to figure out a spot for it once we get everything together maybe up against the firewall i don't know we'll figure it out but got some goodies got the transmission converter back for freak show it's fresh it's ready so it's one less thing we gotta worry about um yes this is what i'm talking about Next step, when you get to work on this Morgan and Sons motor, baby, come on. Damn it, I'm letting the rig warm up. I gotta go pick up Big Chungus. But what do you think about this jazz? Look at that. Oh, man. Hold on, get the phone call. Oh, wow. Historic. Let's have a listen. What's happening? What are we doing today? Well, right now you are on a trailer park garage video. I got the cameras rolling. Huh. What do you want to tell them? Man, I wish. I don't do that stuff for a living. <laughs> I don't do that stuff for a living. <laughs> I'm still just torque converting and transmission, but I don't know about all that. <laughs> oh. Property shit. All right, mm -hmm. so we just picked up Big Chungus. <laughs> I have to show him something. Hold on. You're gonna have to look away from the phone. Or the, hold on. I just saved it. I know it. Oh yeah. All right. So we're gonna show that man this picture. Ready? <laughs> yes. What do you think about that? Hmm. Come on. Yeah. That gets you pumped up for a nitrous car, <laughs> don't it? Yeah. Yes, Lord. All right, so Rachel, tell them what happened already. <laughs> All right, so the police done pulled up on us. We was gonna do a little bit of street racing, so we gonna close the door. They said they don't care though. Yeah. They just wanna watch. What do you think? Why are you hiding from the camera? Rachel Terry. No. <laughs> if you had to give one piece of advice to Trailer Park Garage, what would it be? I have zero advice. It's pretty good. All right, so we're gonna try to Scoop up, you see the police? Come on. Not good. Oh, we done caught you. <laughs> so the police showed up. I don't know what to do, but we got the Chevy 2 out. Y'all remember the Chevy 2. And we was gonna try to make a test hit, but the police has got their uh, light shining on the Chevy 2, and we got a hot rod out unloaded. It's just not looking too good, so. We will see. One piece of advice, Rachel. You got to tell them. <laughs> What's the piece of advice? I don't have any advice. I had the damn camera zoomed in. Oh shit! We got the high rod started back up. The police is leaving. Look at them. Look at them. Bounced on out of here. Y'all remember that hole right there, baby? Oh.
Holy smokes. All right, so I ain't filmed nothing. I ain't giving no updates, nothing. We just been working on hot rods, doing all kinds of stuff. So, last night when we made the hit in the Chevy 2, um, I'm not sure what exactly happened. Sam said it didn't feel right. So, uh, he pulled the plugs on it. It got a couple of straps, and we didn't have no jets. So, uh, one of his buddies dropped by, got him some jets. We drilled them out and put the carburetor back together. Now we are, I am, uh, in Rachel's hot ride. Had to go get some fuel, and we're gonna go mark off these roads and try to do some street racing. So, I'll try to keep y'all updated as much as I can. This is probably gonna be one cluster of a video, but uh, hopefully we get to do some street racing and see some action tonight, so come on. 